Hey Renegades, it's Andrew coming back to you guys with another video update. And today we're going to cover new Russian losses that reach new heights and somehow they continue to make new records of these losses. Stick around to the end of the video for a special thank you to those that contributed to my Ukraine trip on my Buy Me a Coffee page. Link is in the description. Looking at Andrew Perpetua, who's an analyst who's been tracking the day to day Russian losses, highly recommend his YouTube channel and also his Twitter account. And here he posts, here are losses I could identify for yesterday. And this is just a screen grab of the Russian losses. And as you guys can see here, it is absolutely extensive. Multiple D30 howitzers, multiple T80s, tanks, BM, BTRs, MTLBs, Kamaz, Urals. These are multiple, multiple losses on a 24 hour basis that we're tracking. And you could say that it's just a large scale war and we're supposed to expect these losses, but not at this level. Right? Russia's losing equipment that nobody would take in a war. No Western country would expect these amounts of losses on a day to day basis and still continue war goals or any type of aims that Russian President Vladimir Putin and the Kremlin continue to spew to the public audience. I'm going to put a link to this in the description so you guys can support Andrew Perpetua's work. This is open source, but this is all tracked on a day to day basis, including links to verify the losses on a day to day basis. So if you guys are like, hey, these are just some random made up numbers and equipment and vehicles that are listed in an itemized spreadsheet, Andrew Perpetua has got you here. And again, I will put this in the link of the description of the video. Now we've been seeing increased activity inside of the Russian territory. Ukraine continues to use Western weapons as they've been approved to use US Western systems to strike those Russian positions in Belgorod and others. S-300 systems, S-400 systems continue to get destroyed. Here are the Russian losses as of June 19th, 1,130 troops, 12 APVs, 47 vehicles and fuel tanks, 10 tanks, 48 artillery systems, 34 UAVs, four anti-aircraft warfare, and seven special equipment over the past 24 hours. Ukrainian troops are highly appreciative of the U.S. Western weapons support. It's continued to be shown in both mainstream and independent news media reports. Here we read on NBC News, I can tell you that your money is not wasted here, said First Sergeant Dmitro Primiak, a tank commander in the eastern Donetsk region, where Kiev's troops are struggling to hold back Moscow's military. And this was spoken to me too when I went to Ukraine and the Ukrainian people and the soldiers were so appreciative of our Western weapons and U.S. support to defend their country. It was really sad when we went those six months without the support to Ukraine. We got to make sure that we continue that support and continue to advocate for the support for Ukraine. Ukraine continues to destroy Russian factories as The Guardian calls it drone sanctions. So here The Guardian writes, a Ukrainian defense source confirmed a drone attack was used to blow up oil storage tanks near the town of Azov in Rostov, southern Russia. Video published by Russia's emergency ministry showed thick smoke and flames billowing out of what appeared to be multiple oil storage tanks over a large area. Also to support independent journalism, where you guys can see how Western weapons and Western support is shown, and also drone capabilities from the Ukrainian armed forces. My boy Dylan Burns has been embedded with the Ukrainian armed forces at the front lines for the past couple weeks, Go and support his YouTube channel to learn more about what's happening on the ground. Other news, as I reported on my live stream, is the Russian forces in Volvchansk to the northeast of Kharkiv are starting to be surrounded. Russian officials are even going so far to say as Ukrainian troops are pouring into the region. Looking at the recent Reuters article, a Russian official said on Monday that fighting was gripping parts of Ukraine's northeastern Kharkiv region, which Moscow has been trying to seize added that Ukraine's military was pouring men and equipment into the contested area. I'm going to have daily map updates and I'll give you guys the latest map update later today when it comes out at 4 p.m. Eastern time with full details as to where the front lines are in contrast to Russian and Ukrainian positions in the four regions of Ukraine. You guys can catch it here on the YouTube channel. An update on our NAFO campaign, you guys. It's our 11th patch campaign. The link will be in the description. We are 11% complete. We are at $2,532 out of $21,150. I deliver these vehicles personally, you guys, when I'm able to. And as you guys know, I am heading back to Ukraine in July. I have everything booked for my trip to Ukraine now at this point. 
I got my lodging taken care of. I got my flight there taken care of. I'm going to be linking with Greg Terry and other YouTubers in Ukraine trying to go to the front lines, talk to Ukrainians, interview them with an update on what the civilian population is feeling at this point in the war. I'll provide many video updates. You guys can catch those here on the YouTube channel. Join my Discord server to make sure you guys are double notified. But again, make sure you guys have the notification bell turned on on my YouTube channel. So reading my Buy Me A Coffee supports, there are many anonymous donations to my campaign that I had to get myself back to Ukraine. So I just want to give a big shout out and a thank you to everybody that contributed, even if you didn't leave a message. Starting with Tia says, keep your chin up and love and respect to you for all you do for Ukraine. Thank you so much, Tia. Jay writes, homie, don't play that. Wear the Votniks. Thank you so much for your support. From Hello Boy Belation for Ukraine helping taxes. <laughs> Thank you so much. From Nance, have a great day. Thank you so much, Nance. From Kimberly H. Thank you, Merck. Dad was 82nd Airborne and I'm a VARN. Today it was so good to hang out and see and honor D Day. So this must have been when we went and did the D-Day stream and we went through the history of it. You guys can check that out. It's in the live tab on the YouTube channel. Go back and check out that history. Thank you for standing up for Ukraine and against MAGA. I'm also happily sober for a decade plus. Proud of you. Keep up the great work. It hurts having ethics and a strong mind sometimes. Stay strong. We win because of people like you. Screw MAGA. Slava Ukraine. Thank you so much for your support, Kimberly, and that message in my Buy Me A Coffee. Rhonda C wrote, like the haircut, have a safe trip. More Good Morning Kiev, please. I do have good news on that front. I did rebook that same place that I've been when I was hosting Good Morning Kiev streams. I'm more than happy to wake up in the morning and host those interviews again. I can't wait to have those posted back on the channel. Renegade Chungus, who had a very successful fundraiser, writes, for shizzy, my glizzy. Shout out to the Hot Dog Union. Rotor Max writes, Hi Andrew, good luck on your Ukraine trip, spreading some American goodwill from Jer. Thank you so much, Jer. K4AX on YouTube says, Thanks for everything you do. Thank you so much for your support. And just reading a couple of these anonymous messages. Thank you for your service and very interesting information. Best wishes from Norway. Slava Ukraine, let's go. A little something for your trip. Thanks for everything you do. Slava Ukraine. And I give all credit to everybody that supported me over the past four years. I would be nowhere without you as the viewer, as my follower, as somebody that supports my independent work, covering news and current events. I truly could not be where I am today without your support. So to everybody that's contributed on my Buy Me A Coffee link, thank you so much for doing so. The link is in the description to support all my future independent journalism endeavors. That's the update for today, guys. Again, I will have a map update later with just the frontline positions. It might be a shorter video. I'm not sure how long it's going to be yet at this point, but I'm really enjoying making these daily videos for you guys and just kind of getting in a mode. We will do other topics at some point, but right now I'm just going to be focused on Ukraine with these daily video updates. You guys can catch me live on this YouTube channel at 7 p.m. Eastern time where we go through the latest combat videos, YouTube clips, YouTube videos, Twitter videos. I react to them. More of long form content, long form reactions. I engage with the chat. I welcome you to join us on the YouTube channel here at night. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like on this video if you learned something. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys on the next one.